Hey, folks. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. All right, so how y'all doing? What? You know what? This not no. This ain't no mukbang. Close the door. Close the door. It's not a mukbang. You play too much. Anyway, how y'all? Happy Wednesday, y'all. Is we on Wednesday? Or no, girl? I don't know. Well, anyway, um. Okay, so I came on here to do my little vlog for today. I think today is Wednesday. Shell, I don't know. Where my calendar at? Let me just look on here. Oh, here it go. Um, so yeah, I come on here to talk about a few a few things that I want to talk about and everything like that and all that. <laughs> um, so wait a minute, let me see y'all. Y'all know this ghetto ratchet over here. I know y'all see, girl, you should have knew what day and date it was like since this morning, girl. It's morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so silly. All right, so today is Wednesday the 9th. Okay. All right, so anyway, y'all, um, I'm going to be eating my dinner because I, I need to kill two birds with one stone. So if anybody want to know why, why don't you eat on your Juicy Tingles channel? Why don't you take all that over there on your Juicy Tingles channel and all that kind of stuff, everything like that? <laughs> well, say it with me. I just do me over here, okay? Okay. So anyway, we're going to eat and we're going to talk and we're going to cut the bow off. And all that kind of stuff and everything like that. Mm -mm. So I have some white cheddar, macaroni and cheese, corn, some fried chicken with some hot sauce and some barbecue. I mean, some hot sauce and ketchup on it. Girl, mm, that's ketchup on there and some hot sauce and stuff. And everything like that. All right, y'all, check this out. Okay, now, you notice I don't talk about politics because that, that's not what I do. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into that kind of, you know, getting on here talking about politics and all that. Cause see, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want it to get nobody all the way together. Okay, I'm, str I'm trying to stay clear of, of that. Okay, so um, so yeah, I don't talk about all that, but. Being as though elections was yesterday, okay, people are on Facebook acting a donkey, okay, like both sides, people who was for Hillary, the Democratic side, people who was for Trump, the Republican side, and then people who ain't just didn't give a fuck. They was just like, fuck both of them. All those people was on Facebook, like it was hilarious um, on Facebook watching how people was just going back and forth, friendships were severed on Facebook, people was deleting and and um blocking people and even my two sons was on there going it was so hilarious my two sons one of my sons had posted some stuff i ain't gonna tell you who's for who whatever 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 but one of my sons was saying something about well well, well yeah one of my sons was saying something about trump and my other son was like um okay bro don't sit next to me on the bus on the way to africa here don't don't sit next to me <laughs> i was like oh my god I'm going to need all my seeds to get along, girl. All of them. Like, they was on there beefing. I was just like, um, I'm going to need y'all to sit together if you happen to be on that bus. Okay? I'm going to need y'all to have each other's back. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. People are just going crazy. But I just thought what I would do is, instead of coming on and voicing my opinion, I'll just keep all my opinion, you know, to myself like I won't I won't do a video voice in my opinion but I screenshotted some stuff that was just I I want to I want to share now I'm not going to give you the name of who said what because I'm not trying to start no war no beef I'm not trying to do all that because I will get you all the way together okay yes I will and, and I, I I really want to um anyway <laughs> let's just keep this moving okay um, so I, I just wanted to read some things that was just kind of interesting. Um, okay. So, 
Oh, and um, so somebody might say, well, where's your green vegetable, girl? Girl, my green vegetable is called a pickle, girl, because it's green, right? Like, like I can consider this a green vegetable, right? You know, being as though it's like green and everything like that and all that, right? <laughs> I'm so silly. Okay, now, I'm going to show you all a picture, first of all. Actually, let me... um. Let me screenshot because I don't want to accidentally show nobody's name, who's for who. If y'all going to sever relationships between each other, it ain't going to be because eyes married now and exposed who you was for, who you wasn't for, what you said, what you ain't say. No, I'm not. That's not what I'm doing. But some of this stuff was like, wow. Okay, let me just start with this. Okay, let me just show you this picture. No, yeah. First, let me just show you this, okay? It says there's only one race, and that's the human race, okay? And then I'm going to show you a picture, which is really cute. And, you know, like, basically all I'm saying is hopefully um, we all can get along in spite of the differences of opinions, in spite of the differences of who you for and who you're not. The bottom line is we're going to all still need to get along in order for things to operate properly. I mean, all this hate and, you know, cussing and fussing people out based off of the opinions, like it's so uncalled for. I mean, there's such there's a such thing that's called freedom of speech. And even though you may not agree with what someone is saying, they're saying it on their own platform. So you have to allow people to say whatever it is that they choose to say. If you don't agree, you can click off, you can unfollow, you can unsubscribe. You can do all that, but what you don't have to do is go up underneath of somebody's stuff and cuss them out because of their opinion. So this is the picture, and I thought, okay, this is this falls right into what I'm saying. There's only one race, and that's the human race, okay? All right, so that's that's just how I feel. Love everybody. We all human. We all, you know, bleed. We all shit. We all pee, and we all eat, okay? We all got to put our pants on the same way. One leg at a damn time or two legs at a time. Because I don't know. I've seen men put their, both their legs. Anyway, girl, that's a whole nother subject. Anyway, we ain't going to get started on men and all that kind of stuff. Every like thing, that thing like that. Okay. Now, somebody else posted a picture that said, this isn't what we meant when we said orange is the new black. Now, look what they done done. Boy, I tell you, this is hilarious. Okay, now, let's see. Wait a minute, I gotta take a bite of my food. I'm not fooling with y'all with this stuff. I got to eat, child. Mmm, crunchy. Yeah, I fried the hell out of that chicken. Mmm. So, Let's keep this moving, kind of. Some of this stuff is hilarious. All right, so here we go. So somebody said, let me just say, y'all. Oh, let me read this to y'all. This don't have nothing to do with no elections, no Trump, no Hillary. No Obama, no, no, nobody. Somebody said, never underestimate a black woman. We can make it through anything, especially me. I know how to go get it. I guess I'll have to make my pussy great again. I was like, oh my God, that shit was hilarious. I need to make my pussy great again. Lord child, mm, I'm telling you, Facebook is hilarious to me. And my comment to that was, yes, God. <laughs> <laughs> rolling on the floor laughing my ass off. I guess I need to make my pussy great again. Lord child, I was done. Okay, so now I'm just reading some stuff that I saw, you know, that I that, you know, some of the stuff is is coming from people who were for Trump. Some of the stuff is coming from people who were from Hillary. I'm just reading it because I just thought, okay. It's just to give a, a, a perspective from both ends, I guess, from you know, some of the people. It says, I've never seen so many people who fear man and not the creator of the man. 
in whom you are fearing. Shaking my head. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Don't fear the one who can destroy the body, but fear the one who can destroy the body and have the power to cast into hell. Luke 12, 5. But I, but I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him, which after he hath killed, hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Okay, so if you are a Christian or if you're into religion and Jesus and God and hell and all that kind of stuff, then I thought, well, maybe that could give people who are maybe disturbed by who was elected and, and have fear of how life is going to be. That's just like a little bit of inspiration, you know, I guess from the Bible for those of you who believe in, you know, whatever you believe in. Okay. Here's something else that was written. It says, stop feeling yourself. Stop feeding yourself a thought process of doubt and what if scenarios. Instead, focus on what is good, honest, and true. Now is the time to act. Make certain that our children and grandchildren aren't set back 100 years by a system that hasn't proven itself to be on their side in the first place. Be strong, be vigilant, be informed, be involved. If you're honest with yourselves, the things that you are allowing yourself to be afraid about would have existed with either candidate. Because guess what? You have been living, thriving, and coexisting with people who have racist, xenophobic, misogynistic, uninformed views for the last eight years. Now you just know who they are. Okay, so that's what that person said. The next person said, I'd always known that there was racism and misogyny in America, but I had no idea it was this uh, virulent. Now, I'm only reading how they write, virulent and widespread. I had no idea it was this virulent and widespread. I mean, the USA is an, is an inch away from electing a man who has ruined businesses, bragged about sexually assaulting women, and spewed racist hate speech. America, you are breaking my heart. Okay, that's what that person said. Okay, then somebody else said, y'all talking about Trump is disrespectful to women. Have y'all listened to rap music? Black people are more disrespectful to their damn selves than any white person has ever been. Okay. The next person says, let's see what else they say. How do black votes matter to a country where black lives don't? Excuse me. So I'm just reading different people's perspective. Let's see. Somebody else says, because a lot of people said that they're going to another country, Canada being one of them. Somebody said, Canada don't want you. If you don't have a job, Canada does, does not want you if you don't have a job lined up already. You can transfer as a university student, but that's about it. They're not dumb. They don't want to bring down their economy. And then they go into some personal stuff about, you know, blah, 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 blah. So, sorry, y'all. Canada can't help like 90% of y'all. Okay? That was their perspective. And somebody else said, um, um, while y'all are mad at people for not voting, um, y'all better be mad at your baby daddies who locked up and can't vote. All of them... Dudes are in prison alone, and they could have helped uh, Hillary win. So that was that person's perspective. And then somebody else says, um, stop calling on Obama. Stop calling on Obama. Where was he at when your family members were being killed just for being black? Um, he could care less. Not everyone with dark skin is down with us. Okay. Let's see what else. And then somebody said... Okay, and one more thing. So I'm just sharing the different things that people said, different perspectives. 
uh, without personally giving my own because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just, I just, I'm just not. Um, here's another thing. Africa don't want y'all. Unlike black Americans, they actually band together. They don't kill each other and they are actually highly intelligent. Speaking English, Spanish, French, Arabic, and their tribe's tongue. While half of y'all are out here barely speaking English. But they'll let y'all come here. They'll let y'all come there while they continue to come to America and show y'all how to be great by owning their own businesses while we still working for the man. Stop belittling Africa. They've been offering more than just juju on the beat. Okay, so yeah, so it's 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 a lot of different perspectives and opinions out there. Um you know, it's it's just it's it's just they they're just everybody's just in an uproar. Oh wait, it's some it's one other thing. I'm sorry if this vlog is kind of boring or whatever have you, but I, I just do me over here, okay? I'm just saying that's just what I do. <laughs> oh my God, now I saw this post and it says, and excuse my French, cause like this, listen, this, this channel is for adults, okay? Um, you know, I cuss over here. I just do me because I'm grown, okay? So if you are offended by cussing and people saying, you know, go, go words, then uh, this this might not be the video for you or the channel, okay? I mean, I'm just saying now, I, I got to be me. So anyway, oh, my food getting cold food with y'all. Mm. Well. It's saying, how many bitches went to church with their pussy sore from fucking their side nigga last night? <laughs> Child, mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you, these posts be hilarious. Now, on my EMN Network TV channel, I posted a video today. Um, and it was a white Caucasian guy speaking about his own people and the title of the video was white man speaking truth or no nah. that was the title is he speaking the truth or is he not um and it, it was very interesting what he was saying and um if you're interested going over there um, matter of fact i will link it below so that you all can watch so um also, if you're not following me on Facebook and Instagram, then, then I'm going to repeat this. I have said that maybe, don't hold me to it, um, this is my plan, but child, you know, it's only if it's the Lord's will, child, because I didn't cook dinner and everything, and all that kind of stuff, and um, I'm tired, and I might, even though I'm still, okay, what I said was, on Facebook, Instagram, my little video I did over there, was that um, I had washed my daughter's hand conditioned it. Now, I'm, I'm going to have to comb it out and get it and do it tonight because she has to go to school tomorrow. But whether or not I will actually turn a camera on to do it, that's a whole nother story. So I said, I may. But what you need to do so that you don't miss it in case I do, you need to go over to my Makeup for Dummies channel and subscribe because that's where the video is going to be. That's the channel for those of you who are new here. Welcome. But that's the channel where I deal with anything concerning women's health and beauty. Okay? So... Lewis will child my plan is to go over there tonight and do my daughter's hair and everything like that and all that okay now if you are interested in seeing people eat and smack and all that kind of stuff everything like that then you have to go over to my juicy tingles channel girl and subscribe and you get all that okay you get all that the reason why i eat this dinner this meal on Juicy Tingles tonight is because I put three videos up yesterday. And um, so I'm going to let that marinate for a minute. And then, you know, 
So I'm eating dinner, but I wanted to come on here and holler at y'all and, um, and everything like that. So, they said we're supposed to be getting snow Friday. I think it's Friday. And I don't know how much because they don't even know. So, yeah. Mm. That was chicken is delicious. My arms are sore today because I told y'all. Did I tell y'all that I was doing the um the 30-day dumbbell challenge with Miss Trawler with Miss Flawless Trendsetter? I don't know if I told y'all that. But yeah, I'm doing my little dumbbells and my arms are really sore. Because when you're not used to exercising certain muscles, of course you all probably know all this. But for those of you who may not, I'm just saying. When you're not used to exercising certain muscles, they are very sore when you do. So I've been doing my little my little um, bicep um, things. And I was telling y'all it's good for the flab. You know how you know how you be doing like this and it's like I don't I don't like that. So if I can get it tight, then you know we good. So, um, anyway, all right, y'all, well, that's 20 minutes. That's it. I'm going to eat my pickle. I'm going to finish eating my dinner, child. But I just wanted to read, I wanted to say in my little peace speech, you know, about the situation at hand and everybody beefing. And like I said, tons of people on Facebook is steadily saying they hit the black people. They didn't know that certain people felt a certain kind of way. One thing that I thought was interesting that I heard on CNN last night, and then I'm gonna I'm hang this phone up, child, with this tablet, um, because I'm recording off my tablet. My phone is right here. Well, anyway, um, oh, so follow me on Instagram. I'm right now, lowercase letters, no spaces, um, and follow me on Facebook, Demetria Wilson, um, because if you if you were following me on those two social medias, you would know you would have known. Um, what was going on, that I was cooking, getting ready to cook, what I was cooking, and, and that I was going to get ready to do me a makeup for dummies. You know, like you'll get like a, a heads up notice of what's going to going to come. You'll be in the no trail. <laughs> um, um, oh, this is what I heard on CNN that I thought, that I never gave thought to, and I was just like, wow. They were saying that a lot of people were shocked of the outcome of the race. Um, you know, Trump winning the, um, the, the election. And one of the guys on CNN was saying that the reason why it, it was such a surprise was because you had a lot of people that, that you call leaners, okay? You have people that express who they are voting for, which would be either Hillary, the Democratic Party, or Trump the um, Republican Party. But then you, and then you had people who were undecided, but then you had people, and the man on CNN said they are called leaners. And I was like, well, what the hell is leaners? He said leaners are, and the reason why Trump won is because there was a lot of leaners out there. He said leaners is uh, people like this. You know what? Um, I think I'm going to really vote for Trump. You know how you talk to somebody, you whisper and you lean in and you whisper to them? That's why they call them leaners. So it was a lot of these kind of people. You know what? I'm going I'm to I'm vote for Trump. They called them leaners. And they said it was a lot. And the reason why they were saying that it was a lot of people out there who were leaners leaning towards Trump, but they weren't announcing it is because they didn't want the backlash from people, you know, going off on them or befriending them. I mean, or unfriending them or just, just having a, like a hard time from people going against people who were going for Trump. So a lot of people kept their, um, you know, who they were going to go for. If it was Trump, they kept it to themselves or they played like, you know, whatever. They just didn't make it known. They were leaners. <laughs> so I just thought I'd put that out there. It was a lot of that. And that's why it was such a shock, I guess, when, when he won, because they didn't know that so many people were rooting for him. But like I say, the backlash. Some people don't express certain things because of the backlash. Just like I said when I came on here that I'm not going to um, talk about 
my personal um, view on who won or who I wanted to win or who I didn't want to win. I'm not because I'm not. Uh, YouTube in itself gives you backlash. OK, just because just being you, just being a human being and breathing and coming up on this motherfucker. OK, going to get you backlash, let alone, you know, all that other stuff. So and I'm not saying I will never touch on things that that are touchy or that that, that has a lot of people up like an uproar. Because I had a whole lot to say when it came down to, you know, blacks killing blacks and police killing the blacks and all and the blacks killing the police and, or the whites killing the police or the cops killing the white people. I had a lot to say. Y'all remember on my EMN Network TV station. Um, yeah, I was voicing my opinion. But when it comes to politics, I'm not really into politics and I'm not really familiar with politics. It's kind of confusing to me. Like when they start talking about you know, you can get all you can get a lot of votes, but it's the electoral votes that count. And you have to have 270 electoral votes to in order to be pressy. All that kind of political stuff. I don't I'm not I don't like I, I'm not smart in that area. So I don't talk about things that I can't elaborate on. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't want to give my opinion on it. Because, you know, that I, I just do me. That That's just all to it, okay? And I ain't got to explain that to nobody. But I just thought I'd throw that out there. But um, I was just reading the different... I just wanted to read what different people... How different people felt um, as it relates to who's, who was elected. And, you know, as far as your Christianity. If you are a Christian and who you should lean on. And, you know, who you shouldn't lean on. And the... the People going to Canada, people going to Africa, you know, just all different stuff. And then about that bus, they said that we're going to be shipped back on the bus. And my son's fussing, talking about don't stop, no, bro, don't sit next to me on the bus. Don't sit next to me on the bus. And I'm like, oh, my God, my kids is beefing. So just because you're in the same family don't mean you're going to agree. Family members, I'm sure, have butted heads as it relates to um, this situation. So... I mean, I butted his with my husband as it relates to this situation. And we quickly dismiss it and be like, you know what? Fuck it. We ain't going to talk about it, okay? You keep your opinion to yourself as it relates to this. And I keep my... Because it'll it'll break up your damn marriage if you let it. Because that shit can get hot and heat it. Cause so, yeah, I get the cuss of jail. <laughs> no, but yeah, we, we, we try to leave that alone. Because I'm telling you, it's a very touchy subject and situation. So, don't get into no beef child with your husband. Learn to, okay, here's the Eyes Married Now tip since we on the Eyes Married Now show, girl. One good thing that you need to do in any relationship, whether you're married, whether you have a boyfriend, a fiance, a mate, somebody you love, somebody you're chilling with. Always learn, and as, and as it relates to this whole um, presidential um, election thing, learn to agree to disagree, okay? If you're going to be friends with somebody, you have to go into a friendship knowing that you're not going to always agree with your friend just because it's your friend. And if you are a true friend, you will allow your friend to have their thoughts and their opinions and you not judge them on it or threaten to not be their friend anymore just because their opinion differs from yours. See, that's why I don't have no friends by choice because there's a whole lot of fuckery and foolery as it relates to friends. Now, I've seen tons of people on Facebook breaking, breaking off relationships because they didn't like the fact that they found out that the person they was friends with is leaning towards somebody that they aren't leaning toward. Like I say, a lot of leaners. People weren't expressing their view on it, and they were friends with people. And then when all of this election stuff happened, people started voicing their their voicing their opinion on Facebook and letting it be known who they voted for, and then button heads. So people talking about I didn't delete it, a bunch of people. I didn't, you know, I'm not going to go visit home for family. That's going to make my trips less going out of town to go visit family. So, see, you got families beefing with each other and breaking ties with each other. You got friends breaking ties. So, that's why I say that post that said, you know, we are all one race and that's the human race. It's not about black and white. It's not about Democrat. Well, it is. Well, they make it about black and white and they make it about um, Republican and Democrat, but if we all would just look at it as we are a human race and we all need to come together and work together as a people, then things would go a lot more smoother. So learn to agree to disagree with people. You don't have to agree with everything they say. 
but you don't have to be nasty and you don't have to be mean to people just because they don't have the same thoughts that you have, the same beliefs, the same morals, the same spiritual background or same spiritual beliefs. Like you don't 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 do that. Don't hate on people for that. So anyway, that's my little speech. That's my little eyes married now how to stay married and um, just uh, hang in there and um, and uh, I will talk to y'all tomorrow. OK, well, like I said, I might do that video tonight and everything like that and all that. So, girl, bye. <laughs> <laughs> On each other, it's a time and land. Mm, mm.